So a couple of uh, a couple of months ago, I did a video on the Joby Gorilla Pod, and and I had to get a new one. I think in that episode, I had to get a new one because the previous ones were messed up. So I bought a new one. After this one, I'm done. <clears throat> and it happened again. So basically what happens is these legs on here, which are great for molding around stuff and hanging from different positions and awkward places and everything, um, again, they started getting loose. So when I would just have the tripod like this with my camera on it, they would, um, it would fall over. And one of the things I noticed is you can't really see it, but there's like cracks in like, I don't know, I hate to do this, but you can't, it's like right there. So in this area right here, it begins to crack where the joints are. And it happens, it's happened to all the ones I've had. And I've had, let's see, one, two, and three. So I recently tried to get a, uh, I was trying to be cheap. And I figured, okay, how bad can these other ones be? So I bought a, a cheap uh, Walmart or whatever brand, which was this one. And uh, this one's garbage as well. Now these are good for like smartphones. And even these, this is the newest one I have. It's still good for smartphones um, because it's light enough. But I think maybe what happened was my camera, which I thought wasn't as heavy as it was, was too heavy for this. I'm not sure how much it actually weighs, but it just couldn't support it. And it happened um, a couple of times where it fell over. It didn't fall over far, but it fell over enough for me to be like, nah, I'm not putting it on there anymore. So the good thing about these, of course, is other than the fact that they're, they can be moved around and shifted and put in any position you want, is the ball head. The ball head is outstanding. It has a little quick release right here so you can take it in on and off has a little ball le level right here so you can see if it's straight or not but the rest of it I'm pretty much done with it um, I will say that if you're vlogging and you see plenty of youtubers with this thing right here they're still great even in this broken form to sit here and do this and you can adjust the ball head like this and you can hold it out yeah, let's see you can hold it out just like that and get a lot of reach and if you got a wide lens you're good to go but as far as this piece right here goes, that's the only piece on here that I would keep. So I'm finished with this one and I went on the search for a small tripod that I could use to carry anywhere that was sturdy and still allowed me to do a vlog style of shooting if I needed to. And I came across the uh, Polar Pro Apex base model tripod so the apex base is basically a sturdy um it's like a normal tripod except it's short it does not raise at all these legs don't come out or anything it's just how it is it has little joints right here so you can move the legs around and it's made of a fairly pretty sturdy material i think it's metal and like a hard plastic it has little numbers on the uh, piece right here. So if you want to match up all your legs to like four, you can put them all on four and you know that it's good. It also has independently adjustable legs. So you can put this one up and mount it on something or you can lock them all down kind of like, uh, kind of like that. If you want to store it away or if you want to kind of do like a vlog head type, a vlog style type shoot like this now with this one it does not come with this ball head this is the ball head off of my manfrotto element travel tripod so you will have to get a ball head that fits the 3 8 inch screw on the bottom um, i thought i could use this one but this is a quarter inch so in order to use it you have to have a 3 8 inch ball head i think if you if you already have the 5k version of the gorilla pod you could use that ball head because it is a 3 8 inch um, screw on it but this one is not so I had to pull this one off that tripod which is not a problem screw back on here and now I can you know vlog like normal see if I can widen this out so I can do that whole thing um, it is kind of heavy but it's sturdy and normally I don't even put the legs like this so I just carry it around like this and it actually has a little grip 
this part right here has a grip on it so once you lock it down you can carry it around like this and like I said it is a little bit heavier but then if I set it down on the ground I could just set it down and not have to worry about anything coming loose or anything so not as convenient as a Gorilla Pod but definitely much stronger much more reliable and this pod this up uh, this tripod can actually support up to 75 pounds of weight so I'm not this is about probably about five maybe four or five pounds of weight with the lens and this is a 5D Mark III with a 24 to 105 uh, f4 and it can support this with no problem and it's sturdy and I can set it down wherever I need to I can grip it pick it up and go with it and it adds a little bit more stability to my shot if I want to shoot down low I can just point put it on the ground and adjust my ball head up like this shoot and I'm good to go so that's that a couple of other specs I have on it uh, I'm just gonna read the box I'm not even gonna act like I memorized all this so it's made uh, has 144 solid leg positions which is what we talked about and it can hold up to 75 pounds worth of gear so if you got like um, something like monitors the mic and a bunch of other accessories on your kit your camera then it, it'll hold all that up to 75 pounds so if you have a bigger camera of course it has a 3 8 inch tripod head um, that this camera is on but it does not come with the base model the apex base this is bipolar pro does not come with a ball head so you have to have a ball head separately you have to buy your ball head separately or if you already have a 3 8 inch um, ball head handy just unscrew it and put it on top of that it is a little bit heavy like I said but it's worth the stability to be a little bit heavier um, then it has a minimum storage footprint of a 255 250 millimeters by 80 millimeters like I said if I take this ball head off which I'll do actually I don't want to take it off but once again if I compact this down and want to store it just loosen up all these And if you take off this blue part, this is how big it is. Look how big my hand is compared to it. So it's, it's basically a little bit bigger than my hand. And it can go, shoot, this thing can almost go in your, your cargo pocket of your sweatshirt. So Apex, Polar Pro Apex base model. There's also another model that has, has a head on it, but the head flips to the side. And it's, from what I've heard, it's kind of unreliable as far as adjusting it and everything so it's better just to get the base model put whatever head you want on it and you're good to go and if you do have a little if you can find like a little mount that's not maybe as big and you don't need all the movement of a ball head then that's even better but a ball head's the way to go because you can just move it around any way you want to tighten it back up and you're good to ha good to go and I like Manfrotto anyway because they're, they've been pretty sturdy the tripod I'm on right now is an old Manfrotto 804 RC2 that I got at a pretty decent price when there was another photo um, camera store in Atlanta but again like I said this is a pretty sturdy model and if you're looking for a tripod that's reliable this is the way to go this is an option for you I'm not gonna tell you it's a way to go you can choose what you want to choose based on your camera I will say as far as price goes I think these uh, these Gorilla Pods are running, I think this is a 3K version. Let me see how much it costs. And the 3K Gorilla Pod runs for, let me see, I think it was like $75 to $99. 3K Gorilla Pod Pro. Yeah, so it's $92 for, for this one. And, the price changes up and down and you could probably get a uh, if you look hard enough you could probably find a couple of discounts if you want to replace the legs Adorama has the legs themselves for $75 so basically you're buying a whole new Gorilla Pod for the price of just the legs we ain't even talking about the ball ball heads so it's just not worth it I was gonna look into the whole um look into the whole uh, warranty on the stuff but I know mine is out of warranty so I'm not even worried about it Again, also, if you want to get the ball head, if you want to get another ball head that's not, if you don't have a 3 8 inch ball head, Joby has a ball head, and their ball heads are good. 
Um, and but it costs fifty nine ninety five. So you'd be all in on this kit for the tripod and the ball head for fifty nine ninety five plus the ninety nine dollars that it costs for this mini tripod. So there it is, the Polar Pro Apex base model tripod. It's the one I'm gonna be using from now on. I'll still use these, mainly this one, to stick my cell phone in or a GoPro if I need to have something that I can reach out with. But all in all, for my cameras or a heavier camera, maybe you have a mirrorless, a smaller mirrorless camera or a smaller camera, yeah, these are fine. But even when I tried to, you see this one got tissue stuck in it. I tried to super glue it. I tried all kinds of stuff and it just was a no-go. So, and this was the first one I had. I took a joint out of it. It's just, as a matter of fact, it's lopsided. It's not, this looks like a, it's bad. This is bad. And this one's really flimsy. Like you can use it as some, it's bad. So, so much for that one. But anyway, that's all I got for you. If you have any questions concerning this, uh, you can hit me up in the comments. If you have any other questions concerning anything having to do with camera gear or a photography in general, if I can help you out, I will. Just hit me up in the comments. Other than that, that's all I got. So I'll check you out later. Peace.